प्रेज लॉर्ड सबको जय सु आज हम लोग आर के पुरम चर्चा हैं सेंट थॉमस चर्च एंड इट्स अ वेरी ब्राइट डे एंड टुडे इट्स अ वेरी स्पेशल डे वी आर कम टू मीट फादर जॉन रोजारियो फादर जॉन रोजारियो इज इन चार्ज ऑफ द तमिल मिनिस्ट्री इन डेली आई एम फादर जॉन रोजारियो बिलोंग्स टू आर्च डेस ऑफ डेली राइट नाउ आई एम द इन चार्ज ऑफ तमिल कैथोलिक मिनिस्ट्री whole days days of arch days of delhi i originally i came from tamil nadu particularly belongs to trichy uh, arch trichy uh, diocese uh, my home town is a formula uh, patti is a railway factory area the surrounding places uh, central government areas by lad gun factory and all the factories areas there my house is just back of uh, international airport uh, maybe you may think what is the connection between tamil nadu to delhi to come here and south here i was uh, belongs to missionary shop uh, mary maclet so after this letter uh, i joined here in the uh, diocese then afterwards bishop asked me to uh, come back to the diocese now i incarnated priest to the diocese of delhi archdiocese of delhi so i am doing my service if you come to my family um my father expired in 1986 when he was a uh, police inspector how old were you and uh, that 12 years old 12 years, 12 years. i was studying uh, sixth standard then by uh, heart attack my father uh, passed away uh, then government immediately they gave job to my mother my mother was well qualified in world slc that's why immediately they gave job and she gave formation she brought up the nice way the spiritually the material all the ways and we are a shining star because of my mother's hard work my grandparents hard work the love of my uncle and auntie my brothers and sisters and we are flourishing i have uh, one elder brother uh, one younger brother three younger sisters okay. this is my family background okay. all are uh, settled in different places they always encouraging me to go forward okay. that's why i never worrying about my family or nothing they never any ways they never disturb me they always asking about me how you are doing well do a ministry well okay. always they boosting and go forward my ministry priestly ministry and they praying for me the spiritual life is very very important jesus 30 years he lived with his parents 3 years only he did the public ministry same way my parents and brothers and sisters well known wishes and they spiritually they supporting and praying for me to do a ministry um, when you come to my school studies soon after my father's death my auntie asked me to come back to tamil nadu patta for tamil nadu dharmabhumi is there then my uncle was headmaster of that school then because of his recommendation i joined that school i completed my school studies at 6th 6th standard then 7th 8th 9th 10th uh, my mother put me to the st anthony school now but i'm closer to uh, velangani then i studied there and then uh, not that much uh, not a bright student yes i have more intelligent and everything is there but i not uh, express myself through the studies but uh, my focus everything only the sports okay so uh, whenever i get the ch- uh, chance then i will run 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 i get the training and uh, i selected uh, uh, rd camp it means uh, republic day you know the people they will come to delhi i selected from the district military came and gave the training once in a sunday i will uh, get the training from mahapur to vela and i will run there in the seesaw then that much i tend because of that one that's why i my body is stamina is uh, maintaining the same thing uh, after finishing my school studies then i went to kanyakumari side for my uh, 11th and 12th studies Uh, i studied the st teresa school in varakangalam uh, tirunelveli district as a priest we have to do something for the people so we have to be as a good model for the people and we should be the good pastor right, right. so that is my motto uh, regarding my hobbies uh, i try to uh, develop my talent in uh, many ways especially indoor games carrom chess and the uh, outdoor outdoor games basketball volleyball especially i was very famous in a running race long running race okay. and yeah. i got a um, uh, senior championship also so state player also there oh, state then player. i uh, running uh, running 400 meters uh, um, below 12 then let us slowly i developed the long race that um, uh, then i made a record also 1500 when i was studying school studies
content that is a good question to the seminary life here. so um, so when i reached 17 years i was waiting for the 10th exam result the government exam result my auntie she came to my home as a guest uh, she has some good opinion and she has uh, she want put me the seminary i don't know anything then she asked me would you like to join seminary i said okay uh, then she explained her father you want to become a father then i thought the father means the case they will wear one case only and they will eat nicely they will uh, roam the bike and they will go here and there like this my mind was telling so immediately i said okay i'll join the seminary then she took me to the particular congregation she knows the some priest when i went to along with her and that uh, father was luckily he was not there he <laughs> went to kerala okay. then other brother he asked why what purpose he came to uh, meet their father then she told him my uh, sister's brother sister son then i want put him in the seminary then uh, he told oh, why can't you put him in the seminary mm. then that congregation name is a uh, rosary congregation my name also is <laughs> a rosary and rosary congregation then i entered there that is a monk life monk life, monk life the contemplative life then uh, i went to uh, my studies there they want to get the education uh, 11th and 12th mm. i studied from there st teresa school varakangalam uh, tirunelveli district then i was school people leader mm. they elected there there also i shined well the sports and i had very good opinion still now after 25 years i got very good link with the teachers and uh, uh, classmates nice. they likes me so much then uh, still now i continue and then later after my studies i came to my uh, hometown along with uh, two companions by bike um, that is a very important area that is the railway factory is there then the highway we went to there they do not know my house oh. so when we are tra traveling in front of us the bus the lorry was going so when the, when we are traveling the bridge was there then the bus came down from the bridge then lorry was going then suddenly i said this is the way to turn the bike then suddenly they turned the bike we couldn't see the bus okay. so suddenly the bus dashed the bike oh one brother he thrown outside then another one we went under the bus front side i went under the bus back side bus was standing on my leg he stood around the bus surround the bus then they lift the bus and took my by body then i was coma stage and that time one man christian man he has own auto his name is jay silen yeah that year then after seeing us and he came to know i am the seminary and a christian boy then immediately that man took me his auto he put me the hospital gh gh helping me the gh means government hospital so as a helping mentality and he took me there and they put me they thought I, I passed away. Oh. Then they put they put my body nearby the mortuary. Okay. Then immediately the newspaper they published uh, all the newspaper and the uh, evening newspapers so so and so. John Rosario he passed away. Then okay. with my photo everything they published. Then uh, I was lying down. So my street all people were standing outside. My sister was crying. My mother after finishing her uh, job she came inside of the bus street. then she inquired what was happening here then my sister ran away to my mother and she was crying then she explained then my mother immediately she was to uh, government hospital then she wrote a letter i am i am working in the police commissioner office so i need my son's body to take for the treatment so they also they started to cut the pant and they put first aid then they gave body immediately took a csa hospital mission hospital in trichy then they gave uh, we paid immediately 60000 rupees then they gave treatment then i went to still 3 days i was in a coma stage only then uh, after the operation the gail came on who was the nurse and she um, gave food Yeah. so because i have to eat that time no blood or anything then when i had chance to open my eyes the girl was giving you the girl was giving uh, food then i as a human tendency i shame to get food from the youth girl i said i don't want this no no she explained this is what time i have to give food you have to eat this is my duty then i accepted then once only then when i open my eyes then uh, glass side was that the back of my me and the girl glass door is that window all police department people was uh, standing there because of my mother was working there and good opinion then they came then again i went to home stage and they took me to the railway hospital my mother my auntie was working and my uncle his name is stephen and uh, 
my mother's side and he helped us a lot of things and uh, they took me to the railway hospital after reaching there uh, before going to the psychologically when the person met accident or any incident bad incident is when you take them go in the memory pulp cup so the same way when i met the accident when i crossed that place i uh, got a safe place, place only uh, there is a highway uh -huh. we have to go to the hospital so i got a chance to cross that area it so opened my eyes then i saw the ambulance for the siren light was going on the sound was there my brother my uncle mother auntie was sitting there then i what is happening i don't know anything because terrible pain i couldn't uh, see anything because of homo stage also then once in a few second i open my eyes then i found then i close my eyes in the hospital the doctor welcomed me as a very nice doctor his name is uh, dr george thomas he is original from kerala after seeing my face and uh, background uh, belongs to seminary and everything then helping mentality he accepted to give the treatment he did wonderful job then i was i was looking as a real hero of the uh, cine star i attempted to do act the movie also because of my hands of face and hair and everything then because of that one i attempted to join this uh, uh, i want to act I the movie the sambarthi movie present act like this same thing i did it put the all the goat and everything i will go and say turn the um, um, bike and uh, different locations i took id cars i went to there um, so many photos i i took a chance then i attempted to join the seminary because of accident god gave a lesson to me then after the operation i think continuously one and a half years i stayed in the hospital not i am going to coming from the house and hospital not like this one and a half years i stayed in the hospital and uh, what way it's uh, go forward to this religious life or priest to life means uh, i was worrying so much to become a priest or not so when i was taking treatment uh, usually when the people they giving uh, after the operation they give injection once if you take injection you know the sleeping dose when you are taking injection whole day they will sleep after the operation so the same way they gave injection and i couldn't sleep more than hour so i attempted to cry will they take me somewhere or not what is my life i lost my life i was thinking then i covered my bed i attempted to cry so much then i found velangani mother mary and she was walking with my right leg wow. and i saw face to face wow. so uh, she went and sat on my head then i took challenge really again i will walk what the uh, mother mary did three miracles in the velangani mm. the one the handicapped boy the jump the same way it happened my life then after that had a good experience the spiritually again i joined the seminary and they operation they put operations like my guest house i'll go and come like this only they put the ilzero rod the rod will go here and it will come outside they put here then it will come there the whole leg they put like this why that is i always remember jesus christ when the soldiers nail on the cross in the mm. chest yes. and you know so the same bitter experience i had in my only my leg i met accident not even i single injured i got in the i didn't get the uh, my body only both leg one leg is silencer problem another one is a terrible accident then they put all the muscles inside they stitched nicely then everything the treatment was over then again i joined the seminary one man one boy told to me father here after you cannot walk and life is over he criticizes so you are seminary okay. so all the criticism is makes me to go forward i took challenge then i throw the throw outside the stand i attempted to walk this uh, the cart with the support of cart then each steps the blood will come then i courageously i walk then i stood stand outside the without any support then i started to walk immediately i called the boy then after seeing me and he asked sorry that i 1998 um, father asked me to do some studies in velangani meriology course so diploma in meriology then later i studied uh, uh 2000 i joined the mmm congregation mmm means missionary of mary immaculate i am the pioneer of the congregation first batch and i joined the congregation we did wonderful work and i, I really i found my religious life there only mm -hmm. saint thomas one where the apostles came from abroad and he died and that uh chennai, chennai. Mm -hmm. saint thomas one the congregation was there and then afterwards they called me to they gave big responsibilities as a small gauge they gave to uh, build that royal international school ah, chennai uh, chennai then uh, very beautiful school now 
I started the school. I started from 18 students. Now 1,800 students. Yeah, hundredfold is increased. Yeah. No, hundredfold. Very famous Scripture school. Very famous school. Yeah. Uh, then what still now my my name is there. What? Uh, my age was I think uh, 425. Okay. Uh, that uh, that time. That time also a lot of temptation was there. Many people became. You look very handsome. You are very bright students. Uh, why you want to continue priesthood? Why can't you marry like this? Lot of temptation came. But my mind, my focus always says, once if you put your leg front side, you should not turn back mm -hmm. side, go forward. Mm -hmm. So Jesus carried the cross, three times he fell down and he stood up mm -hmm. and he reached his goal. Mm -hmm. Same thing, I forward, then I started to reach. Then uh, later, uh, two years I did Regency, then uh, Theology, one and a half years I studied in Karma College in uh, Bangalore. Mm -hmm. Then meanwhile I found it is not good to continue here. Mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, this motto carries is not fit for me. Mm -hmm. Then I left the society, I told the founder. Then they said happily, okay, choose your life. Then again, I came outside on top of uh, September. Mm. October itself, MPH Messengers of Peace and Harmony, the congregation started by Father George mm. uh, Kuwakal, mm. um, Pope John Paul when he was Pope, mm -hmm. and he asked my founder to start the society mm -hmm. for giving a, a interreligious religious dialogue mm -hmm. to the people, peace and harmony. Mm -hmm. And he started very uh, generous mind, he started the society, immediately gave a place for me. Following month itself, he gave the recommendation letter. That congregation also I am the founding members. Maybe you say everything is a God's plan. Then I continued my studies in St. Paul's Theological College in Tirchirapalli, my hometown itself. I completed my studies. Then from there I went to uh, pastoral ministry in uh, Kodekadal mm. for experience now all the years they will send to uh, different places. I got good chance with the uh, tribals and uh, we came back to the college the, and uh, Bishop Vincent was the uh, Archbishop mm. was here. Okay. They called me uh, to come back to Delhi mm -hmm. because those who finished their studies, the diocese they come in, they have community uh, committee members and Bishop uh, Franco was the auxiliary bishop. Mm -hmm. they and for us, out of 10, they selected diocese and committee after seeing all the report and one year report to everything, they selected 10. Uh, out of 10, they selected only 5. So that one 5, uh, that uh, one among that 5, I uh, also the top level, the, from the beginning on, so all the ways mm -hmm. I did well. Then they uh, elected me and selected and elected and uh, they did everything. So 10th, uh, 3rd, uh, 2011, they ordained as a deacon in Pithabura okay. Divine Mercy Church. Okay. Then later they appointed me, uh, Dagnet, they gave Dagnet ministry in uh, Mayaburi, Chandi Peter Church. Yeah. Then I did a wonderful ministry, the very good experience. Then they gave order, they ordained me as a priest 13th, 10th, 2012. Okay. Uh, Bishop Vincent, they, he ordained me. This is the last uh, ordination is yes, a lifetime. Okay, before okay. retirement for and I am the last person to order. Mm -hmm. That way also I got the blessing. Then Bishop he appointed as a Archbishop of Delhi from Jalandhar mm -hmm. and I had good chance to walk along with him. Every uh, Monday this uh, Palm Sunday they will walk the diocese level, they will walk from Old Delhi to Cathedral. I walked uh, more than five to ten closer to ten kilometers, okay. eight to ten kilometers. I walked with him, carry the cross and uh, uh, that is good time, good uh, um, time with the bishop. Then um, uh, I did the ministry there. I ordained a priest, Maya Buri, the church, only first priest at the new church. I ordained as a priest. Then because of Hindi problem, I went back to Tamil Nadu. Then I came back, I, I appointed from the society. Um, general, uh, general procurator, general counselor, mm -hmm. priest in charge in Tamil Nadu, the big position. Then I worked very well in the, under the parliamentary diocese, Bishop Jude Palraj. Then again, Bishop, when I came to Delhi diocese to get letter from Bishop uh, Anil, um, I had a chance to go to ESA. Then he told me, why can't you join diocese? Yes. I incoordinated to Delhi Archdiocese mm -hmm. for MPH congregation. Okay, okay. So because this, it was a five pious association. Mm -hmm. Then um, I said I will think about it. Then I had uh, I took one one month. Then uh, I had discussed with all the people and the uh, spiritual fathers. They said okay, better to go there. Then I wrote a letter, Bishop. Bishop welcomed me. First appointment in uh, 2017, Bishop 
gave me in Bushwick uh, Parish, uh, St. Teresa Church. Then uh, I did my ministry for years. Uh, Father Julius is there still now. So I worked there. Uh, I enjoyed, though I don't know Hindi, different kinds of people. There is the biggest population was, wise, not only church, that is a population membership wise, the biggest uh, parish in the Dutch days of Delhi. Mm -hmm. Then uh, all languages there, Hindi, English, Tamil, Malayalam, Telugu, uh, Kannadam is very rare. Uh, Kannadam and uh, Urai, some so many languages people are there. I mingle with all the people, they like me so much because of my smiling face and uh, I don't know language. For example, you don't know English, I don't know Hindi, but we will talk. <laughs> My son will talk, other people they will laugh. Yeah. These fellow both, they do not know the language, but they are talking, they are enjoying. <laughs> they are surprised to see. But uh, I enjoyed because uh, uh, everything, communication is important. Mm -hmm. Not uh, language is not important, communication. Because the people, they like me so much, then I enjoyed four years. And then uh, Bishop appointed me uh, Tamil Catholic Ministry of Archdiocese of Delhi. Mm -hmm. My favorite food is uh, like a uh, fish, fish okay. fry, fish curry, and a chicken. Uh, not that much like uh, mutton and other things. Uh -huh. Chicken and fish I like very much, and the prawn. So I enjoy, enjoy. I never complained any food in my life because before complaining, I always think about the poor family. There is a lot of people that are struggling, or even including us also. We are working for food only. We are struggling. We have to give the spiritual food. First, mm -hmm. material food. When is the strength? Yes, the spiritual food. We have to strengthen other people to go to heaven. So that way, I accepted. I have a lot of chance to travel in uh, foreign countries. I visited 13 countries. My aim is to visit. Uh, 25 countries as a solar jubilee to celebrate <laughs> like this. I attempted to travel. First, I landed in the Vatican and France and so many places. Now, every year I am going to Malaysia. Malaysia, Malaysia is my second next home. Uh, second home. I have a lot of friends and my family members are also there. I want to go and work in Chicago or New York. Chicago, New York. New York. I want to go and visit the White House. Vatican I visited, the spiritual way Vatican visited, Holy Land also visited and uh, all the most of things and everything covered. Whenever I get the free time, I always will think something positive way. Negative things when it comes, I throw it outside. If I think negative way, I cannot go forward. Even youth people, I am telling to the youth people, when you want to go forward, always think positive way. Mm. Without negative, there is no life, but throw negative things in your mind and make a relationship with one another. That is why my uh, WhatsApp, I put there, friendship and relationship is the two sides of ship. Mm. I want to become a good leader. Leader means lead plus others equal to leader. Mm. Lead and other people the right way, mm. then you have to stand with till the end. Mm. That is all. That's why you can, other people can say you are the good leader. Good leader, they have good quality, quality and everything is there. I was holding position in a national youth president of Asian Human Rights Organization. So big, big position was there. I did so many good things, public service and um, I got the uh, award also, mm. best social worker award also. I got it from the Human Rights Organization. And um, now I too also as um, the international chief secretary in particular media. Okay. This is the time I am revealing. I still now I didn't reveal. This is the time I am telling. I am the chief ex executive officer, international chief ex executive officer in a particular media. Uh -huh. um, I am member of minority commission, Delhi government. Okay. And uh, now I am going to be permanent member of uh, media in Delhi. So I am I, I am very much in a lot of roles. So, so that is my hobby. The same thing I always encourage the youngsters to come up. Mm. I like very much youngsters to come up mm. and my life supposed to uh, model for others. Mm. That is I like my personal I like. This is a life. We can we should not think or any youth should not think we can live as we want. Mm. Not that is not life. We have to focus, this is a life, we have to walk and we have to reach the goal. And once if you fix the goal, you have to start to play with the cooperation of other players, you have to carry the ball and kick the goal. Mm. So water starts from mountain, it's reached the ocean, but waves are different rivers. Mm. But starting 
and the ending point is clear that we have to focus the same way all youth people you are becoming a doctor or engineer or police officer or a collector or ca officer whatever may be but fix it your goal and aim it the same way and go forward whatever all the way said is struggle comes and you try to face it and go forward what i did it then you can reach because of that the because of that i am sitting as a priest still now i am going i am facing a lot of problems i am going forward i am reaching my goal now i am very close with uh, my bishop my bishop is a real shepherd so he is my father mm. spiritual father he is a shepherd for me i am listening his words and i am following him i am doing my duty under the leadership of my bishop and he is taking care of me very well i am faithful to my bishop my diocese so because of that only i am developing my ministry in rajagarh and flourishing now all people those who are scattered here and there now they came together one umbrella now they are doing wonderful service i am very happy i did wonderful job within a short time i am doing lot of service to the people Okay, father. I think we have got all the things and everything. No? Yeah. So thank you so much for your time. It yeah, good. Huh? Nice. Ah, yes. Yeah, so, I will pray for you. I will remember you in my uh, mass and prayer. And God will bless both of you and your family members, your children. And uh, you will proceed your goal and your uh, ministry. And God will bless all the ways. God will guide you. And uh, God bless you. Amen.